Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I am Brinjushan Mishra. As we know that garbage collector is one of the key components in .NET framework and it saves us from many nightmares as a .NET developer. To understand it in better way, I am making a series of videos on garbage collector and it is first part of the series. In this video, I will talk about the object creation and its life cycle. So to understand the whole concept, we need to understand the basics of object creation, objects representations in memory, its collection process and other relevant concepts. In object oriented programming, every type identifies some resources that are available for use. There is a life cycle for any instance of a class in a program. We create an instance of a class using new keyword. So let's understand the steps involved in it while execution. So the steps are find the required memory space from the memory pool and allocate that to the instance. It represents the resource. Once the memory space is allocated, initialize the memory space and set the initial state to the resource so that it can be available for use. So resource is used one or many times. Once the resource is no more required, tear down the resource and clean up the space. Free up the memory and make it available to the memory pool again. So this is the whole life cycle of an object from its creations to the end. So now let's see how it is handling .NET framework. All the resources in .NET got allocated memory space in managed heap. So what is managed heap? Managed heap is a contiguous set of address space. Here say 0 to 50. A pointer is maintained which tells where the next object can be initialized. I will say it next pointer in the video. So memory allocation of objects means adding a value to the pointer almost similar to the style which makes pretty fast compared to normal heap. Every program while execution get assigned to a segment of free contiguous space that is used by the resource in that program and initially the next pointer is assigned at base address in allocated memory space. So let's create a new instance of a class. There could be two scenarios. First scenario, let's assume that this is the current state of the managed heap. Currently it has three objects A, B, C and CLR executes the statement for new object creation. When new operator executes, next object pointer makes sure that the required space is available. For this, it gets the size of the instance based on the type as it knows that how much memory is required for the instance and add that much number in next pointer. Say it is 4. Adds to next pointer. It finds the required space is available so it can go further. We will talk next steps in next part of the video. So let's say another scenario. This is the current state of managed heap which is almost full. Statement for new object creation executes. It again follows the same steps. Guess the size of the instance. Say it is 4 adds to next pointer. Oh, next pointer goes out to the available space. It means that it needs more memory and requires garbage collection. Let's take first scenario and discuss further steps. Here we saw that object can be allocated in memory space. The constructor is called for the object. Object gets created on the heap and reference is assigned to the OPJ my class. Next pointer is incremented past the object so that it is ready again for the next object. So in this video, we talked about the basics of managed heap and how the object is created using the new operator and stored. So there are more steps involved in object creations that are relevant for the garbage collection. We will talk that in further videos. To connect me, you can go and subscribe my blog. Codewala.net 
follow me on twitter at code underscore walla you can also jot down my mail id thank you for taking your time who was this video